Hey friends, welcome to my channel. I'm a new full-time creative. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my morning rituals, how my average day looks like as a full-time creative, and how I took the leap of ending my old time working 9 to 5 and embark on this exciting yet at times scary new journey. I start my day with a cup of coffee or tea and then start preparing breakfast. Today we are having egg and bacon sandwich. After breakfast, I go for a jog or walk in the nearby forest to get my blood flow and clear my mind. morning walk, I move on to my favorite morning routine, journaling. I've been following the advice from the book The Artist's Way to write three pages of pure consciousness every morning. It's a lot of writing, I know, and sometimes I ended up writing only two pages, and that's okay, as long as I feel I have laid on the paper what I needed to write and feel good afterwards. To be honest, this is by far one of the best habits I've cultivated. It has helped me to clear my mind by having a little chat with my inner child. It ultimately helped me to make the decision of quitting my previous job and landed me where I am now. Okay, back to my day. So after morning journal, I get started on my morning work session. Currently, I work on video-related work in the mornings. At around 1 p.m., I start to prepare for lunch. This is what I'm having for today. And also ever since I stopped working full-time, I find my lifestyle has slowed down a lot, which means I get to enjoy small things such as slow cooking and having a good meal a lot more than before. <laughs> Try it. After lunch, I'll get back to work and continue with my afternoon session. So the afternoon session can be either the stuff I've left off in the morning or it can be an art session as well. And for dinner today, we're having all this yumminess. And finally, I will have an evening creative session where I work on some art or play with a clay sometimes too. While painting this piece, I'd also like to share with you my experience of creating a full-time job in IT and starting my journey as a full-time creative. It was scary, but it has been one of the most rewarding decisions I've ever made. 
I was feeling burnt out, un- unfulfilled in my previous job, and I knew that I wanted to pursue my passion for creativity and have the freedom to decide what I want to do and when and where I want to do it. So I took a leap of faith and quit my job to focus on my art and creative projects. Also, before quitting my job, I did have a bit of savings, and I have made a plan. And knowing that I can always return back to work part time in the future if needed. The journey hasn't been easy, but I've learned so much about myself and my creative process. I'm only at the start of my journey, and I'm excited to see what will come next. If you are considering making a similar leap, my advice to you is to trust yourself and your instincts. It can be scary to leave the security of a steady job, but if you're truly passionate about something, it's worth taking the risk. And just remember that we only live once, so why not strive to live the life you want and build your dream, then follow someone else's agenda to build their dreams. That's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed getting a glimpse into my daily routine. In future videos, I will bring you along with my journey of working as a full-time creative. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks again for watching, and see you next time.